Why are people so fascinated with small house design? Well, I think one reason is because the owners have to find clever ways to expand their space. So in this week's episode of Tiny Tours, I'm gonna show you inside of one tiny home on wheels that I've been calling the Swiss Army Knife of vans. Why? Because the owners, Dan and Rachel, have found many different ways to expand their space, including custom moving furniture and folding parts that really turn their van into a multi-purpose home. Make this house a tiny home. Hi, I'm Dan. And I'm Rachel, and this is our van. So we have been living in the van almost 14 months. So we originally moved into the van because we wanted to spend more time helping out people doing some volunteer work, doing mission work. He just said, hey, I'm going out of town on all these volunteer projects. I'm really feeling like I'm doing things that are worthwhile and I feel bad that we're spending so much time apart. Why don't you come with me? And I can take the Sprinter van and I can put a sink in it and I can put a bed in it. And he had all these ideas. I thought it sounded crazy. I knew nothing about van life movement. Neither did he. In the beginning, she was not fully on board. He actually took me to a tiny house show and I saw other people, I saw other buses. That was when it really started to click for me and so that's the point that I said yes. So our van is a 2003 Dodge Sprinter van. It is a 20 foot bumper to bumper that gives us 77 square foot of living space from the driver's seats back. So we do have a lot of moving pieces in the van. We've got the rolling closet, the extending table, the bed frame, the toilet is on a roller, two counter spaces that pop up. We have two monitors that drop down. One reason that we do have all the moving parts is so that we have more open space because when we push everything in and we move it around, different parts of our van have walking space. All of that basically makes the van just feel so much more open and it really allows us to maximize our space which has made it easier to live in for me personally because otherwise I felt a little claustrophobic in here without all the moving features. Come on inside, check it out. So this is our kitchen. This was actually really overwhelming to me first when we, we moved in the van. Trying to cook full meals here, I would just get halfway through it and then just go sit down. But I've now gotten used to the small space. Some things that really help is Daniel added in some counter space. So this actually clicks up. This also actually flips up. And so it works as a either a table if you're sitting here or it works as another counter space. Our reason for moving in the van was so that we weren't working all the time just to pay bills, but that we could actually enjoy life. So the quote is, live a life you don't need a vacation from. It's really the heart of the tiny house community, I think. So the sink is really deep, which is a little bit unique, I think, in a van. We do have an electric water pump. It also works as a sprayer and can come all the way out to here. So if we needed to spray down something, we could. We actually started our journey in the van with a hand pump and I don't recommend that. It was really hard to pump and wash your face or do anything useful, so we've loved the upgrade. This is also where our bathroom is because this opens up and the toilet comes out, so it's just on a drawer slide. We didn't want it to take up a whole space in the van because this is 77 square feet, so the toilet's not something we want always present. So it is a nature's head composting toilet. So do you mostly use the toilet in the van or are you also using public? Hmm, that's a good question. We do try to use public like when it's readily available, um, but we don't go out of our way. Like if it's in the middle of the night or it's really cold outside, we just use this one. So one thing that was really important to us in design is we didn't want a lot of bungees. We didn't want things to be falling constantly. We really didn't want to have to lock down our home every time we wanted to move it, since this is also our only vehicle and driver. So one thing that my husband did was he made these magnetic knife holders and spoon holders. And that's actually all of our utensils right here. This is everything we have. And we've gone on some really bumpy roads and it, it never falls off. The cast iron even has a magnet behind it. So it locks into place and it actually doesn't move either while we go down the road. Even the tea kettle has a little magnet right there so that it doesn't move. So everything really looks just like this. We mostly use spoons, as you can see. In fact, our plates aren't even readily available because we almost always just use these little bowls that we can pull out easily. We like to keep our meals into one dish. We have 21 gallons of water, so it really helps uh, to do dishes, conserve of water, if everything just fits in this bowl with a spoon, and that's it. 
I made these little tags. I'm very proud of that because I'm not a real DIYer. My husband did most of the uh, construction in here, but I made these these tags, that was mine. One thing we found early on about living in 77 square feet is it can get disorganized really fast and that can be really overwhelming when you're living in a tiny space. So we did this in a basket system and it's actually built on a lip right here. So you have to pull up to pull the baskets out. And what that means is they never fall when uh, we're driving. They've never fallen in the 14 months we've lived here and we don't have to bungee them in. So they just look clean and nice. I love this oven. I really can't say enough good things about this. It's a Camp Chef outdoor oven and it cooks an entire pizza. That was really important because I love pizza. It runs on propane, both the burners and the oven. Usually there's a one pound propane that's hooked to the bottom, but we have hooked it up to a bigger propane tank just so that we don't have to keep buying the one pounds. The one pounds were usually cooking about 10 meals for us. So it was affordable, but still a little bit annoying when we're living in here full time. So this down here is our fridge and we actually got this used off of, I think Craigslist, it's just like an old 12 volt fridge for $50, but it does the trick for us. We got a little freezer space up here, uh, but mostly it's just refrigerator. So that's been a little bit of a life adjustment going from always having frozen pizzas and ice cream in the freezer to not really having a freezer. This is the coffee pour over. So this is our mug section where we keep our little pour over. And then in the morning, and we do this at least one time a day, we put our little mug down here and we put our filters in there, boil our water, and then we can just pour a little pour over right here. So these three switches right here, um, this top one is just this backlight. And we really like this one because when we first come in and the, the van is dark, our other light switches are all the way on the other side of the van. This right here, the red one, is actually to turn off the propane. And we are pretty good about turning off that switch as soon as we finish using the propane and that's just a little extra safety feature and this bottom one is probably the most important but it controls the electric water pump so when we turn it off the pump is not going and that is important because if we start to get to the bottom of our water level and we don't turn it off the pump will just continue to try to suck water continuously and it would burn itself out the lights are all led we put them on separate switches so you have one in the back these two in the middle and then those two that's really convenient so if one person wakes up you can isolate the lighting so it helps ever who's still asleep not be affected by the light the rest of our pots and pans are down here we don't use these on a daily just kind of when we're doing soups so we have the seating over here but we also have seating on this side as well When you're entertaining and eating, you gotta have a comfortable table to sit at. So we have this one designed it's on a pull out. So it allows ample seating space. The table extends a pretty good length under the bed, so it's still stabilized. It just can be a little bouncy. So we will add a leg on it sooner or later. But we like this design because it's nice and big when we need it. It sits here most of the time for just the two of us. It still gives us plenty of room to walk around or if the other person's here working, it allows that. So just because you go into a tiny space doesn't mean all your friends instantly become tiny. You want to be able to still entertain, have people over, so the table will pull out and we can sit comfortably six to eight people in here for dinner. This community is a big aspect of why we're on the road is we want to just be able to meet new people and provide a comfortable place to hang out. So when we're working, we both have laptops, but uh, she does customer service, so she needs that second monitor readily available to get to all she has to do is plug the hdmi port in the back and then it's ready to go so it's fully pivotable however you need it to and then it just stores back up here and so this one has a different lock but and it can pivot all the way around we mostly use it in the back for watching tv how do you get internet in the van so we was using Verizon Hotspot for the longest time, but we just made the switch over to Togo. Togo uses like AT&T tires. You pay about 300 bucks for the device. It's the big white bubble you'll see on the top of the van, but then you pay $360 for the year and you get unlimited data. And we have pushed it to the limits and they have not throttled us yet. Here is where the bed would traditionally have to sit in a van to be able to be a full-size mattress and not have to be multiple pieces. This is a solid piece of foam here, five inch foam. We put it on a rolling system so we can push it back. It opens up for that fifth and sixth person and then the bed is on a actuator here. So it's on a motor here that raises 
or lowers the bed for comfort and also if you raise it up all the way it allows you to shut the back doors and still have the entertaining spot so people always are curious do you sleep with all these clothes and no we don't we put it on a rolling system we have a lock here and that rolls it out of the way and when the bed's here you still have ample amount of space to allow your feet to hang off the bed. We both get 18 inches of closet space, so we have 36 inch closet in essence. So she gets this side and I got this side. And on her side, we've put this nice lock that holds your clothes tight because if they're not tight, they may bounce off throughout the transition. This is a piece of aluminum, it goes the entire length. So we've got three wheels up top and then one wheel on the bottom so to prevent it from swinging so it has a wheel down here that it rolls on to prevent the paint from wearing off this is one of my favorite places in the van because it has my beloved guitar i do play guitar a little bit self-taught but we have it hooked in here with this strap right here it just unhooks here at the top and then it's resting on the neck it's been riding there for about a year and i haven't seen any damage to the guitar so i'm feeling good about it i am a reader so this was imperative to have it ready uh, and available so this just unhooks it's got a magnet um, sewn inside and then the other half of the magnet right there and that just holds the books into place with some pretty fabric reading is super important to me so i needed a little reading light um, we do have lights all throughout but this one's just great so i can lay down in bed and read this down here is a little bit of extra book storage so we do have a little bit more these pivot up or they can actually come all the way off as well and we have some books tucked away in there and dvds up here are more storage baskets and then right here is an ac unit it was put in when we bought the van it's extremely powerful and we really can't run it unless we're plugged in the solar will not run this ac so it is there as like a backup if it's really hot out we try to find a place to stay that we know we can plug in and then we we run the ac but other than that we just function with fans and we're fine So the table functions also as a workspace outside, it allows us to pull out whatever we need to, sit it here while we're working on it. This is where we keep the tools at. These are the tools we use on the everyday basis because we do travel around and help other people and these are the ones we use majority of the time. We do have a few more things up in the attic up top. This little add-on right here is actually my workout station and our towels. So we do shower at Planet Fitness um, about every other day we go by there. So we wanted some little towels and these Norwex towels are incredible. Like that will dry your whole body. It's crazy. So we hang them up here after we've showered just to, to dry. This is actually a pop-up table and this is where I do my little workout videos. So I try to work out every day off and on about five days a week at least. So this gives me a little bit of a bar because I'm actually doing little bar workouts and then that's my workout video so I can see what to do. I found that I was really getting frustrated because we were constantly mobile so developing like a workout routine and different life routines was just hard when you're going to be in a city then you'll be in the middle of nowhere then you'll be at a national park. So because home kept moving Daniel built me this so that I would always have my little workout station so I could keep those those habits. So as you can see, we have an attic up there, and what is up there is basically two foldable kayaks, a tent, a spare tire, Daniel's tools, because he could not part with those. They're like my books, his tools, and also all of our winter storage is up there. So when it gets colder, we'll just change out the wardrobe. Throughout this process of really slowing down, we were able to talk about what we want our life to look like. Being on the road and exposed to more and more opportunities to do things outside and adventure has been really good for me, but as well as Rachel as well, because she's a big fan of the great indoors. It has definitely pushed me outside my limit a little bit, but I would also say to anyone considering van life who is kind of an indoorsy person, that's okay too. There's actually a lot more indoorsy people who live in a van than I suspected. I really thought everyone was hikers and, you know, very adventurous, but that's not been the case. Home just comes with me, so that's really nice because I have the comforts right there in the parking lot. Like, I know it's right around the corner. Thanks for watching. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so that you get a notification every time I post a new video.